So hello everybody and a big welcome here in Germany in Bremen at the EIGIL headquarter. Today I give you a short overview about the new firmware, the 510-100. We made some big changes and CVEs on it and um, so let's start. I may introduce myself. My name is Robin Geider. I'm a systems engineer working here at EIGIL at the pre-sales team. The agenda for today, we look about the new clients and updates we made on the new firmware. I give you an overview about the security issues. We take a look about the UDC2 and changements. We have a look together to the IGEL third-party database where you can look which devices will be work with the IGEL Linux UDC2. And we have a look about the release notes and anything else. If you have any questions, I will show you where you can find answers. First of all, the new clients and updates we made. We added the Citrix receiver version 13.3.1 and there we added the new parameter to use Control, Alt and End to change the password in Citrix session. The Citrix receiver 13.2.1 was removed and we are also available this Citrix receivers in the new firmware. We also updated the VMware client to the VMware receiver 401, which included the new support for the BLAST protocol with 3D rendering to thin clients. And we supported, of course, the new UD3, the UD5 and the UD6 with the BLAST protocol and the 3D rendering works fine on these devices. Of course, the RDP client was updated as well to the RDP client 2 made by IGEL with a synchronized audio and video for the 2012 R2 server. So there are no more delays between audio and video from now on if you get the new firmware. If you need anything else for connecting, here's a short overview which connector we included in the new firmware. Perhaps there's something you might need. We made uh, a lot of security fixed. For example, the new Firefox version with several security fixes. Nine of them were critical and nine high recommended to fixed. And of course, the common vulnerabilities and exposures, CVEs. We fixed a lot of them. Let's have a look at our IGEL eDocs. Hope internet is working fine. Yeah, so we got here the resolve issues and in the base system, it's over there. There you can see which CVEs numbers we fixed and you see we made a lot of our homework. So feel free to take the link edocsidrecom and we also will have a part at the release notes later in this webinar. The UDC is a software where it can be needed on some older PCs or laptops, other devices or other SYN clients to put it either Linux on this device. Feel free to get a test license if you don't know the UDC2.
In the UDC2, we added a shortened network timeout for mobile workers. Many customers ask for that, so there is no need for waiting for wired network or contact a UMS anymore if you are on the road without any network. Of course, we added some new hardware, the new Intel Scalic graphics chipsets and the new VLAN module for the Intel Dual Band Wireless AC3165. And a lot of other hardware. So, if you search for some hardware, we have our IGEL third-party database to find on our website in the service and the Linux third-party hardware database area. We also will have a short live look in this webinar. Here you, for example, can see which category and which manufacturer you need in your devices. And here you can see if the device was already checked by IGEL or checked by a customer. If it won't work, it will get a red square. So feel free to have a look on yourself on the IGEL third-party database. Of course, with every firmware we got our release notes to find on myigel.biz and we will have a live overview as well on this. So we go here through our 510100 and over there you see for example every receiver which are included in the firmware, dictation device, smart card devices, of course. Other connection clients we added. And some further information about the new firmware to find on myigel.biz. And here you can choose which direction you need. So, and from now on, this was all in our webinar. I will give you a big thank. And if you have any questions, I will stay a short while online to answer your questions. Thank you and many greetings from the ITRE headquarters in Bremen, Germany. Robin Geide.